Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, the channel dedicated to bringing you Everything Valves. In today's video, we will be going over a threaded ball valve, also referred to as a tank valve. We will show you all the parts located inside of this valve and how to assemble and disassemble the valve for repair. Please note this video is intended for informational purposes only. Let's get into the video. Here is a spec sheet of the valve we will be showing you in today's video. We will go over each item listed here and show you where they are located in the valve. We are going to start with the top works of the valve. I've already removed some parts. We're going to be going over item 13, which is the retainer ring. So you're going to want to take some pliers and loosen the retainer ring and pull it off of the stem. This is the retainer ring. Now we're going to be going over item 11, which is a stop plate. It should come right off. This shows the open and closed turning positions. And now we're going to look at the stem bearing as you can see in the drawing. You can see it right here on the stem located under the mounting plate. You should be able to move it and pull it off of the stem. It's made out of a PTFE material. Now we're going to look at the body, body adapter, and the adapter o-ring so here you have the body and the adapter you're going to want to loosen the adapter usually you need a tool I've already loosened it so once it's loosened you're going to unthread it from the body and once it's unthreaded you should be able to pull it out be careful not to damage the adapter o-ring so here you have the adapter the seats inside right here this is the seat inside of the adapter then on the outside you have the adapter o-ring and this o-ring here can be replaced and then here you have the inlet threaded side this is all one piece the seats inside next we're going to remove the ball number five here a little bit more careful not to damage when removing here you have the stem inside of the ball you're going to want to close the valve this is the only way to remove the ball Going to pull carefully the ball from the stem. Pull it. And there you have the ball. And this is the slot located on the ball where the stem goes in. So now we're going to remove the stem with all the O rings and the thrust bearing. stem is located right here you can see and then you have the seat inside as well the stem you want to rotate to make sure it's not jammed then you're going to want to push the stem inside the body there you go push it and pull it out carefully here you have your stem this is your secondary o-ring and this is your grease groove. Here you have a grease zert fitting on top. You'll connect your grease gun here and pump grease and the grease will come out inside of this groove here. Grease in the stem. This is your primary O-ring. So you have an O-ring, a grease groove, and then a secondary O-ring on the stem. The stem has flats on both sides.
Here you're going to remove your thrust bearing. So now the body stem slot has nothing, it's bare. Everything has been removed from it. All that's left is the body seat, which is right there. It can be removed, but it takes a little bit more time and special tools. So here's everything. You have the body, the seat one located inside of the body. You have your ball, you have your stem, your stem O-rings and bearing on it. Then you have your mounting plate with the retainer ring and the bearing as well. Then over here on the adapter, you have the adapter O-ring and the seat number two inside of the adapter. All of these parts are what complete the valve. So now we're going to assemble the valve. You want to take your stem, make sure all of your O-rings are okay, put your bearing on, and push the stem into the slot located in the body. Make sure to push the stem, not to damage the O-rings. Make sure that your stem is all the way in and that it's not jammed. Line up the stem in the ball slot. Carefully insert the ball onto the stem, not to scratch or damage the ball. Rotate to make sure there's no obstructions. I like to rotate the valve to the open position. Then grab your adapter. Make sure your seat is clean, your O-ring is not damaged, everything looks good before you assemble it. Insert it into the body and thread the adapter into the body. Once you get, once you get it hand tight, you're going to want to use a tool to tighten it all the way down. Once that's on, you're going to want to take your bearing, slide it over the stem, Grab your mounting pad. Make sure your mounting pad is in the correct position. Slide it over the stem. If it is not all the way down, adjust it by opening or closing. Once it is all the way down, take your retainer ring and slide it on top of the stem. lock it down into place. From here you take your lever, put it on, and the valve is complete. I hope you enjoyed today's video. For more valve videos, please subscribe to our channel. For more valve information, please visit the website below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.